my name's Peter Gash and I'm the Managing Director of the Lady Elite Island Eco Resort on the southern end of the Great Barrier Reef. What does happiness look like to me? Well, it's many things. I think um, happiness is about being proud of what you're doing, feeling like you're making a difference on the planet, feeling like you're, you're influencing things for the better, for today, for now and for the future. What's the main thing that's holding me back from living my best life? Well, I might be making a big statement here, but I feel very fortunate in that I think I am living my best life. However, it possibly hasn't always been the case. So I would say, what's the main thing holding me back in any particular time? It's usually myself. It's usually putting self-imposed limits on what I might think, or what I might think I'm capable of, or what I think can be done. I saw Jane Goodall speak recently at Australia Zoo and she spoke so well about the four things that matter for hope for the future. And of course the big one that, that she sees as, as positive hope for the future is the brilliance of the human mind. The brilliance of that human mind is such a fantastic computer, it's taken us from where we were thousands of years ago to where we are. We've made some great decisions along the way, we've probably made a few less than positive ones but we've learned. But she also believes in the resilience of human beings, the strength of our youth and, and just that positive hope that we all live with and we all drive with. My biggest worries over the years, they come and they go, those sorts of things. And someone once said to me, is this really going to matter to you when you're 90? And quite often when I'm facing a worry, I say to myself, is this going to matter to me when I'm 90? I think I've always worried about the environment from a very early age and I didn't quite understand why. But now, with modern technology and modern understanding of climate change, I think that isn't... For me now, it's probably not so much of a worry as a... a, a an area that I think we all need to focus on and face because I have great belief in the positive outcomes of human beings and I believe it's just an issue we can all deal with. I reckon my wife would say that the most important decision I made was marrying her 31 years ago next month and of course having our beautiful daughters Amy and Chloe. Um, but I've been very fortunate in my life. I've made a lot of decisions that have affected us generally for the better. Uh, I put a lot of thought into big decisions um, certainly getting involved with Lady Ellen Island and becoming the stewards of that spectacular location has been a great decision, but it was a tough decision and at the time there was a lot of things, a lot of people that said, you're crazy, you can't, you won't, you shouldn't, and we did that together as a, fa as a family and as a team. I don't know, I don't think that there's too much that I would change, you know, I, I think that I've been very fortunate, I've associated with some wonderful people who have given me great inspiration, great mentorship, and I like to think that um, I, I really try hard to do the same thing now to other young people, I like to inspire and encourage them, so perhaps if there was anything I would have done would be perhaps to start doing some of that a little earlier, uh, but other than that mate, I, look, I don't regret my past and I'm really excited and looking forward to my future. But I think Australia is clearly and seriously the lucky country. We've got fantastic environment, we've got fantastic weather, particularly here in South East Queensland, I think we're blessed here. We've got the Great Barrier Reef, we've got the mountains. There's so many things that make me enjoy my place. I think it's just a hard country to beat. I think, as I've said, there are many beautiful places, but I'm born here, I'm fifth generation Australian, I love where I live and uh, I love to come home. I love to go and visit other places, but. There's no place like home. And I think that goes for all of us, no matter where we're born, wherever we live. We become a part of where we are.